Welcome to Vodia Training. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to set up and obtain a free Let's Encrypt certificate for your Vodia PBX domain. Let's hash out why an SSL certificate is important to have when deploying a Vodia phone system. The core function of an SSL certificate is to protect the server-client communication, as well as providing a safe and secure experience for Vodia subscribers using the Vodia Windows, iOS, and Linux soft clients. What is Let's Encrypt? Let's Encrypt is a free service that can auto-generate SSL certificates on the fly. This makes it so that Vodia administrators can now obtain a free cert without having to purchase one. Prerequisites here, uh, in order to complete this exercise, you'll need an FQDN for the domain or server. Also, the Vodia PBX should be reachable on a public IP through port 80. If port 80 is not open on the Vodia PBX, then it will not be possible to generate a Let's Encrypt certificate. Some of the benefits of Let's Encrypt. By using Let's Encrypt with Vodia, we're able to use the Let's Encrypt API, which is built into the Vodia phone system. This means that Vodia can interact with Let's Encrypt to painlessly obtain a certificate and provide subscribers a safe and secure user experience. Another benefit to using Let's Encrypt is the renewal process, which Vodia can automatically take care of before the certificate expires. And lastly, if you're using the Vodia user portal to make and receive calls with our WebRTC integration, then an SSL certificate is required. Now let's log into the Vodia management portal to start the creation process. Once you log in, you'll be presented with the Vodia administrator view. We're going to activate Let's Encrypt on the administrator level and set up the email notification. Navigate to General, Messaging, Notifications. Under Admin, Email Addresses, add your email address. Now that we've added an email, Vodia will send out an email notification on system events and a reminder of your Let's Encrypt expiration certificate. Next, navigate to General System. Under General and Add, scroll down to Acme Directory and set Acme Directory URL to Let's Encrypt. Scroll down and save the configuration. Let's create a system and create our first domain. Under Domains, click on List. Then in the Main Domain page, click on Create. You'll be presented with a dialog box to create your new domain. For primary name, enter your FQDN domain name. For this test, I've already acquired an FQDN for my PBX that I'll use for this technical training. Press the Create button. The domain name will appear in the list of domains. That's it. This should also create the Let's Encrypt certificate. How do you know that the certificate is created and that it's valid? Let's check to see if our certificate was created successfully. You're going to navigate to Security, then choose Certificates. In the Certificate page, we can see if the Let's Encrypt certificate was created for our domain. Click on the Certificate tab to see the generated certificate. Can you download the certificate if you want to? Well, to download the certificate, click on the download arrow to check its contents. As you now see, we can view the domain certificate chain plus the private key created by Let's Encrypt. Let's Encrypt certificates are good for 90 days. Vodia will auto-renew the certificate on behalf of the Vodia operator to ensure that your certificates will always be available. We have successfully generated a Let's Encrypt certificate. To learn more about Vodia, please visit us at vodia.com and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.